Hello guys, so welcome to Trudy Home. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to model corner windows. Okay, how to model corner windows. So let's dive into the tutorial without wasting much of your time. Okay, so let me remove this particular one. Okay, let me remove this one. Most times we tend to model them this way, this way, which is um not okay because this is actually two windows we have here. And if you want to shift them inside, like if you want to insert it, reveal to work or let's say 75. You see that we have this challenge, okay? And this is not actually what we want. We want something like this clean and um, presentable, okay? So let's dive into that without wasting much of your time. So um, I'll be removing this one and I'll be showing you the right tool to use for this. First of all, click on your floor plan, okay? This is what we'll be inserting the window. And come down to this point under this design okay under design come down move your cursor down there's something called corner windows okay don't just click on it make sure you click on this little arrow first don't select this one select this first one because this generic corner windows once you click on this generic corner windows what you have here is almost the same thing from what we just removed okay let me show you something now if you click your 3d view you see that we have the there will be a frame okay there will be a frame at the middle okay there will be a frame at the middle and this is not what we want all right it's not what we want even though you insert that reveal to work or 75 75 it's still the same thing there will still be a frame at the middle i want everything to flush with glass this way okay so let me show you um the perfect method for that okay so still on this same corner window okay make sure you're on your floor plan still on this same one okay click on that little arrow i say don't select this one that means we're going with this other one okay so click on this fixed glass corner window this one this is the right one okay double click and then now come to this point this point click once okay it will give you positions if you click on this left arrow, that means the second one is coming at the right hand side. If you click on this left arrow, um, this right one, that means the second um, panel is coming to this left hand side. So we are clicking on the left because we want the window to come this other way. That means we are having it like this to this side. So click on this arrow, okay? Click on this arrow. Now you can see that we have one here, we have one here, and they are all joined together. So now let's check our 3D and see what we have okay so this is what we have all right and then now from this one we have a space here okay which is known as the reveal to work call we have a face here so let's create that same thing here okay click on click on the window click on these two panels okay and then now you see this point i like this point and type in 75 this reveal to work up and click outside you can see we have that now okay we have that now the next thing now is let's model let's attach <clears throat> sorry let's attach this same um casing let's attach this casing to this one just like what we have here okay so how to do that is click on these two panels okay these two click on the window and then go inside there's something called, you see under this little arrow, click under this little arrow, there's something called casing outside. This is casing outside. Click on that casing outside. After clicking on this casing outside, the next thing to do is to click on this outside casing. You see this box? Click on that box, okay? Once you click on that box, now, let me show you, click OK. We have the casing now, okay? But the color or the material is still wooden material. Let's change it to white paint. Click same on your setting dialogs. Okay. Then now still click on that same arrow. Remember we select casing outside. But now let's select model attribute. We have three model attributes here. We have the first one under free massage. There's model attribute. Second one, there's model attribute here. Under this uh, model attribute. And um, under this wall opening, there's model attribute. And then under this fixed um fixture and fittings, there's also model attribute. So since we selected casing outside under this fixture and fittings. We are still going to select model attribute under it, okay, under the fixture and fitting. So now change this wood material from here, 
Then you click painting. All right, and click OK. You can see now we have that particular casing outside. Okay. Um, but as a pro that you are, <laughs> you don't leave these colors. Okay, this is this is like orange. So it's not it's not black. So let's change it to this black color. This one's presents everything well. Okay. So let's let me show you how to do that. Click on the same two windows, go inside, and then this time around, still click on that same little arrow. Okay. Then this time around, there's something called model attribute that is on this frame and search. Okay. That is the first one. Click on this first one. You see this frame pen. Change this one to black. Change this middle one. You can't change the middle one. Change the last one too to black. Okay. So this two now is what we are changing to black colors. Click OK. So now check out what we have. So you can see we have this now. It's black. It's, it's coming out. And then check the frames. This is wooden frames we have here. And if you check this other one, we have steel frames. So let's change this one back to wooden um, to steel frames. Okay. So how to do that is click on the same roof again. Um, click on the same windows again, and go inside under setting dialogs. Remember, I said the first one we used was this down one, okay? Model attribute was this model attribute. Now the second one, since is the frame we're working with, okay? And here you have you're seeing frame and search. So we're using the model attribute under this frame and search, okay? Click on the model attribute, and you see this frame and um, frame outside. Change it from wood to metal iron. You see this um, frame inside. Since the glass is kind of transparent, let's use let's change the inside one to to metal iron. Then click OK. So see what we have now. We have steel on these two. Okay. Then now let's do something very very important. Very very important. You can see we have two panels here, one and two. But here we only have one panel. Say for instance you want to change this to Okay, it depends on the size of the window and the width. Let's say you want to change it to two or three panels. Okay, so still highlight, click, still click on the two windows like this. Go inside. Then this time around, um, just keep clicking on the side. There's something we're looking for. Okay, let's go back to this other side. Just be clicking here. There's something we are looking for. Okay, you can see. Okay, not this one. You can see um on that shape. Okay, either on that shape or you select window settings and openings. Just here, you will see panel number. Okay, click the panel, select the number of panels you want. You can use three, you can use two. So let's go with two panels because the window is not too big. So let's go with two panels. Then there's one setting that is very important that I'll show you after this. So once you click OK, you can see we have the panels now. We have two panels here, one, two, and we also have two panels here, one, two. But you can see some differences. You see here we have we have um blue glass and at the same time the thickness of this panel of, of this um uh, frame is different from this one this one is too big so let's reduce it to what we have okay so click here let's first of all click on the two panels um on the two windows go inside that is setting dialogs okay <laughs> so now still the same arrow just be clicking, be clicking. You see frame width. Okay, this thing is called frame width. So under frame width, you can see the thickness of those frames. We have two panels. Remember, if it's three panels selected, you see three panels. If it's five panels, you see five panels. So we selected two panels. So that's why we have two panels here. So this one at the middle now is 100. And the side one is 50. Remember, part of these ones are inside the walls. This one to part part of the 50 is inside. So we are seeing like 30 outside. So let's make use of 40 for this one. Let's, let's change the 100 to 40 and click OK. Let's see. So you can see now we have what we are looking for. Okay. So for the color of the glass, click, select the two windows again, go inside your setting dialogs and um, under here again. Okay. Remember, it's still under frame and search. Okay. Click on this model attribute. And you can see glass under. Remember, we changed this one to steel earlier on. So we are changing this glass to blue. Click on that little one. You see glass blue here. So click on it. And once you click OK, you see that we have 
the exact thing you're looking for. But for the wheat, something very interesting about this, okay? There's something very, very interesting. Um, if you decide to change the width of this particular panel, let's say you want this one to come to this extent, just type in the dimension here, okay? Let's say 1,500. Just type in 1,500. You can see it's extending. The more it's extending, the more it's dividing those two panels into two equal sides, okay? Into two equal sides. So you can decide to make it two meters, two meters, everything will keep moving, okay? Let's say two meters. Ah, it's not extending more than this. Let's see what is happening. Okay, the other one, let's change to that one to 215 and see if it's going to up. Okay, we have 15 this other side. Here, let's change this one to 15. Okay, so let's change this one to 2 meters. Let's see. With 2 meters, let's see. You see, it's extending. So sometimes you just need to balance this other side for it to extend. All right. So this is what we have and but for the wall you can see this thing is very long so let's just centralize the window so we're making it we're making this 1200 instead of one five okay so this other one two is one two and then this one we're changing it back to one two okay so it's very flexible very very flexible you can increase the height if you want you can increase the height to let's select the two you can increase the height to Let's say two meters. Two meters. You can increase the height to two meters. You see. And then the seal. You can decide to reduce the seal instead of one meter to let's say nine hundred. Nine hundred. So you can see what we have now. Okay. Alright, so let's go back to the previous one. So this is how to model corner windows. This is how to model corner windows and we'll be stopping here today if you find the video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question regarding this um corner windows don't forget to drop your question on the comment section okay and i'll do well to attend to you see you on our next tutorial